You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. rollermartinunfiltered.com. Good afternoon. I'm Stephen D'Antuano, Assistant Director in Charge of the Washington Field Office of the FBI, and I'm here to provide a quick update on the FBI's activities since the violence and destruction at the Capitol last week. The FBI is quite familiar with large-scale, complex, and fast-moving investigations. We are, we are up to the challenge. As Director Ray says, the FBI does not do easy. To be clear, the brutality the American people watched with shock and disbelief on the 6th will not be tolerated by the FBI. The men and women of the FBI will leave no stone unturned in this investigation. Since these events, the FBI has worked hand in hand with the United States Attorney's Office and our law enforcement partners here in DC and across the country to arrest and charge multiple individuals who took part in the destruction. In six days, we have opened over 160 case files and that's just the tip of the iceberg. The significance of this investigation is not lost on us. This is a 24-7 full bore invest extensive operation into what happened that day. We cannot do our job without the help of the American people. Since our call for tips, videos, and pictures, we have received more than 100,000 pieces of digital media, which is absolutely fantastic and we are scouring every one for investigative and intelligence leads. We continue to ask for more. If you have information, contact 1-800-CALL-FBI or submit photos and videos to fbi.gov slash US Capitol, and that's Capitol with an O. I want to stress that the FBI has a long memory and a broad reach. Agents and our partners are on the streets investigating leads not only here in the DC area, but also across the country through the FBI's 56 field offices. So even, like I've said before, so even if you've left DC, agents from our local field offices will be knocking on your door if we find out that you are part of the criminal activity at the Capitol. But before we do this, this is your opportunity to come forward, as several individuals who have, were involved in Wednesday's riots have done, to volunteer about their participation. In the weeks leading up to the January 6th rally, the FBI worked internally with every FBI field office to ensure they were looking for, that we were looking for any intelligence that may have developed about potential violence during the rally on January 6th. We developed some intelligence that a number of individuals were planning to travel to the DC area with intentions to cause violence. We immediately shared that information and action was taken as demonstrated by the arrest of Enrique Tario by the Metropolitan Police Department the night before the rally. Other individuals were identified in other parts of the country and the travel subsequently disrupted. The FBI receives enormous amounts of information and intelligence and our job is to determine the credibility and viability of it under the laws and policies that govern FBI investigations. We have to separate the aspirational from the intentional and determine which of the individuals saying despicable things on the internet are just practicing keyboard bravado or they actually have the intent to do harm. In the latter, we work diligently to identify them and prevent them from doing so. As offensive as a statement can be, the FBI cannot open an investigation without a threat of violence or alleged criminal activity. However, when that language does turn to a call of violence or criminal activity, the FBI is able to undertake investigative active, uh, action. And in this case, we had no indication information was linked to any specific person, but this is a matter of an online discussion. This information was immediately disseminated through a written product and briefed through our command post operations to all levels of law enforcement. Part and parcel of our investigation into violent actors is the fact that we continue to gather intelligence that will aid in our ability to disrupt possible future violent activity. Suffice it to say, 
We are leveraging our relationships with federal, state, and local law enforcement partners, using our tools at our disposal to find and bring everyone involved in last week's criminal activity to justice. I'm now going to turn over to Acting U.S. Attorney Michael Sherman. Folks, uh, the Department of Justice is not happy at all what has taken place, and they are going after these people because especially with one Capitol Hill police officer dying. Uh, Congressman Tim Ryan yesterday said that two officers have been suspended. They've also targeted these folks uh, who have been taking pictures, folks who put on a MAGA hat on. Uh, and so there's also going to be an investigation of the entire Capitol Hill police force to figure out what went on. Congressman Jim Clyburn uh, has intimated, he is he has implied that he believes it was an inside job. Uh, not only that, Gizmodo, what they have done, there's been, uh, they were able to access this right-wing uh, social media site, Parler, uh, and they had some very weak security. And, uh, and the Gizmodo story then showed, I'm going to pull up in a second, uh, it showed uh, they were able to use uh, GPS tracking to show all of these people who breached the Capitol. Folks, this is a shocking story. This story shows you how deep these folks, these, these protesters got inside the U.S. Capitol. By using this, uh, go to my iPad, please. Uh, this right here. Parlor users breached deep inside U.S. Capitol building. GPS, GPS data shows. This here is a map. This is a map right here, folks that they were able to, by accessing the data and accessing their GPS, it shows you where their parlor members were. You see how they essentially surrounded the U.S. Capitol. You see how deep they were able to get, let me see if I can zoom this in. They, this is the U.S. Capitol uh, right here. How deep they were able to get into the U.S. Capitol. All right, folks, back to my unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We, win. we win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States Senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.